Hi guys and hello and welcome back to a small talk video or a more small talk backslash gear video. I want to speak about some lenses uh, about a lens factory manufacturer is called Zen. Zen is a part of the Samyang Optics company in Korea from Korea and they built a nice series, the Zen series. Uh, today there is a new version, I have the bit older version, uh, Zen lenses, I have three of them, the 24, the 50 and the 85. Now I roll with uh, 24, the 50 is out on the next other camera and I have the 84 for your examples. I bought it this nice lens used um, from a shop in near Berlin. Um, a very good conditions. The nice and funny thing is um, the 24 is the Imperial system or the Imperial marks. The 50 and the 85 have metrical marks. I have no problem with Imperial measurement because as a retired organ player, organist, I use often feet. Feet is um, the size of the pipes uh, around 200, uh, two, uh, 320 uh, mils and so, but this is other topic. Maybe I explain in the future video what on pipes and on stops are available on some huge instruments, but this is not the thing today. Today I want to speak about this puppies. Yes, that is a very affordable lens kit for independent filmmakers. Um, first timer in the film uh, industrial of uh, filmmaking hobbyists are so oh guys they need a cheaper f uh, kit for the B cam or C cam. I use this on my red DSM one, DSMC one, and red DSMC two. The one is the um, Dragon six K, and the um, DSMC two is the eight K Helium big sensor. This lens works fine with this. I do um, on the end of this video a little sample snipe, a snip of the lens I use on this uh, 24 lens. Um, maybe I try to do more sample footage so you can see it, how the lens works with my camera. The best way is um, that I rec recommend it to every land on the market, rental it. Rental it, get it for you, maybe in your town or area, you have a rental service, they have this lens, or in a communi community like Facebook, social media, or so you find a guy who has this and maybe can rental or borrow this. I like this. Um, the reason why, not the, especially the price, I like the look. The look is nice. The, it's okay for the price. I work often with high-end lens like the Coke, Airy stuff, but for this price I got I got two lenses for around two thousand bucks, two thousand euros. Sorry for my English. Two thousand euros um with uh two lenses and the uh, fifty mil I bought it for for one one K euro or one thousand euros. And I have a kit around 3,000 euros, a whole kit with these beauties. And I use this on my, uh, my documentary work, on my film uh, music work. And this is great combina combination with uh, the EOS camera line. It's from the look a bit similar to the Canon lens, the CN E lens. Um, Okay, it's, the build quality is a bit different to the size. Okay, that is, you see the price. But so the work is great. The stops working, the, the focus is accurate. Also accurate, I mean that if I pull it on my, um, on three meters, the, it's three meters. And so all lenses I have, I have uh, has a T-stop on 1.5, T1.5. Very wide, 
very bright ideal for film working and with a nice uh, bouquet and uh, out of focus background. Um, yes, uh, what I want to say, uh, I use it now for my next documentation work. I do a documentation about a guy who uh, built nice flats around Hamburg and I want to follow him to his work and so not special things. So I use this lens primer pro private for my uh, travel work and the lens has a great weight balance too, although it's a great weight. I want to use this on my Ronin gimbal and the lens weight a bit less than the traditional cine lens and that's ideal 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 for uh, gimbal work and in combined with a um, Sony FS5. The great thing is this lens has the EF mount. You can adapt it uh, to such everything from a small GH5 up to a big uh, red or big uh, black magic camera and there's a PL mount version 2, then you can slam it on an array. I have to test it on the array from my buddy. He used an array Alexa Mini. Great camera, by the way. And I want to test this lens on the Red Ranger and the Komodo. Because of this EF mount, you can adapt, you adapt it very nice to uh, the uh, little Komodo camera. And that is very nice gimbal setup on the bit size gimbal, like the Zeon Crane or the Ronin Zarius. The mount is complete, complete, um, less electronic, no lens data or similar thing on the PL mount or on the other mount. Yes. The gears are pitched with 0 0.8, the standard gear pitch. Um, yes, great, great lens. The nice thing is of this lens, that is why I love the cinema lenses, they have the rings on exactly the same position. The 85, the 50 and the 24 is the same position of the ring, so I have no hassle to struggle with uh, the follow focus system. Um, so I have swap, I can swap lenses very easily. So I put the lens off, next lens off, no readjustment of this follow focus. There's a barrel size and the um, the gear size are the same. Um, yes, only with a Chinese follow focus I have the problem, but that's not, not the problem on this lens. Not this body has the problem. The problem was the stupid follow focus from Chinese. So I remove it. I want or I tested it, but I stay on a used cross line follow focus. Great machine, and. Uh, Tilter Nucleus, great machine too. So I wish you a good day, have fun with your gear, and if you have questions about this lenses or similar gear, please down in the comments. And now I have, an, have fun with your gear and I say bye for now.